Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Support the Makitaris congregation. The secret place of worship of Christians in Burakan has not yet been revealed. The historic church of Tigranagert on the brink of destruction. Israel strikes dozens of targets in Syria. Monument dedicated to genocide against Armenians opens in Kalamatra, Greece. An ancient Armenian carpet in Maraj was put up for sale for $150,000. The Makitaris congregation expresses its heartfelt gratitude to all Armenians and friends who immediately reacted to the news of the disastrous flooding and storm at St. Lazarus, showing their solidarity and readiness to support us in the time of need. With the help of our friends, we have been able to organize the cleanup of the flooded areas of the monastery. If you want to help in the recovery of the damages suffered by the Mother Monastery of St. Lazarus, our kind compatriots and friends may make their donations via the bank accounts which which you can find in our official website. Five story Zakh caves are situated in Solham province, Birak, and Western Armenia. During the reign of idolatry, Christians living under the pressure of the Roman Empire used these caves as places of residence and secret worship. The cave, which consists of five separate floors, draws attention to its architecture typical of that period of time. On the first floor, there are food storerooms, on the middle floor, there are living rooms, and on the upper floor, there are two rooms for women. At the top of the cave, there are observation towers. It is assumed that the structure belongs to the 5th, 7th centuries. The burned and destroyed St. Sarkis Church, which stones have been sold, is always on target for treasure hunters. If the church is completely destroyed, we will lose the memory of it. I demand for urgent actions, said one of the workers of the church. Part of the church was destroyed by treasure hunters and the rest is in danger of collapse. Because of the absence of a stone inscription, the date of construction of the church is unknown. However, some sources estimate that the church history dates back to the 16th century, based on the plan and architectural features. You can read the full article on our website. The Israeli armed forces said it struck dozens of targets in Syria belonging to Iranian forces and the Syrian regime in response to four rockets that were fired in Israel the day before. The attack was carried out in response to the launching of the rockets by the Iranian Quds force from Syrian territory, the army said in a statement. Though Israel rarely takes direct responsibility for airstrikes in Syria, it always acknowledges conducting reprisal raids in response to attacks from the country. Syrian media reported that two people People were killed and others were injured during the overnight strikes. The municipality of the Greek city of Kalamata responded to the request of the local Armenian community to install a monument dedicated to the genocide against Armenians' victims. The monument was unveiled on November 17 in the presence of Archbishop Geram Khajerian and prelate of the Armenian Apostolic Church of Greece. Local officials were present during the ceremony that was preceded by a divine liturgy, which was granted in the Armenian community of Kalamata for holding religious ceremonies. A resident from Silesia Maraj has put up old Armenian carpets for sale. In a statement posted on the Turkish trade website, the seller mentioned that they are 190-year-old Armenian carpets. For one of the carpets, the seller demands $150,000. Now let us represent to your attention a song by Masum. You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.